everyone this is Randy from Rams Graphics and today's video tutorial I will be showing you how to do a very beautiful romantic and emotionally inspiring slideshow in After Effects you can download the project file on the link given below so you can follow along with me so let's start So we are now here inside After Effects. All I have to do is to make a new composition and I will name it main one. Nineteen twenty by ten eighty p sixty frames per second and five seconds duration. Background is black. Okay. I will create new composition. And I will name it placeholder one. Nineteen twenty by ten eighty p sixty frames per second. Five seconds duration. The background is black. Click OK. I will again create another composition. And I will name it ink blood. same settings in here and I will just click OK and then open the placeholder one go to project file and open your assets and drag down this young girl image and then go to main and then drag down your placeholder one find directional blur put it here make the blur length then and go again and find tint to make our image only black and white and then highlight the placeholder one click S on your keyboard to make an animation on scale Click the stopwatch in here, go back to the beginning and change the setting in here to 110. And then go back to your project file and drag down your paper texture and highlight the placeholder one. Click T on your keyboard to change the opacity to 20% close it then open the ink blot drag down the splash footage find luma key and drag it down in here and make the key type key out brighter and the threshold probably it's 75 percent so if we will scrub this playhead you will see 
the ink blood is there already so open the main go to project file and drag down your ink blood and then drag again the placeholder one in here click s to scale to 110 and then click this stopwatch in here go to the end of your timeline and again put it back to 100 drag this down and make this alpha map so if you will play this one you can see that there is a nice animation so i will make a text in here I will type ink blood slideshow I will just move on this side a bit And as you can see in here, I use Century Gothic. So this one is 150 and I will change this ink blood words to 80. So that it's not the same size, right? And then after that, click Ctrl D to duplicate your ink blood and then enable the visibility in here so you can see and then press s and shift p to reveal the scale and position and unlink this one and move this to this position here then adjust the scale to a smaller size until such time that the letters are all covered I think it should be good enough press my control D to duplicate it and then put it on top of the letter here and then I will highlight this text and change this to alpha map. So when we play this one, nice now, right? So now I will create a solid layer new solid and i will name it fractal click ok and i'll move it on top go here in effect and preset and i will go to noise and grain and apply fractal noise so the complexity must be 1 and the contrast is 150 brightness is negative 20 and then the transform scale is 1100 
and then I will alt click the evolution to create an expression and I will type time time 75 Go to color correction and find U and saturation. I will click the colorize and change this value here to 280. And make this colorize saturation 100. And then make this screen. So you can see here now it's beautiful. So all I have to do is to close here and then go to project and create a new folder and I will name it scene one. I will highlight all these compositions drag it in here and see in one folder I will create another folder and I will name it scene 2 I will highlight these compositions again duplicate it drag it up to where the scene 2 is located I will close this placeholder one, this ink block two, and this main. And then I will double click this scene to compositions in here to open it up. Open the placeholder two and delete this image one. And then drag down the image two in here that we have to use go to main tool and click and hold alt and drag down the placeholder to in here but first you have to highlight this one and drag down the placeholder to in here to change it to placeholder 2 you have to click and highlight the placeholder to find the tint and then also find the directional blur oh that's good enough i don't like putting a directional blur on the second image so you can see that there is a nice animation in here for the main two so now all we have to do is to create another composition I will name it final because I have two main images so I will change this one to 10 click ok go to project file and drag down the main one and also the main two move the layer to the end for the main two and go to main two again because the text is still here and we haven't changed it so now we have to change double click it and I will change it to look into 
my I will change this eyes to 150 pixels so that it's bigger and if we will go again to the final you can see it has been updated already so let's try to play it So now guys, if you add some more images or photos in there, all you have to do is just to create another scene. I'm also gonna have to go back to main one. We need to put tint on it. I think. There you go, so that this is black and white too. And now we are done with our tutorial and thank you for watching. My thoughts for today's tutorial is that mine is a conceptual habit of consciousness. I hope that this will help you. Please subscribe, press the notification bell so that you will be always updated to our videos. Thank you very much and God bless.